Opening session was brutal. 12 working sets on the bench. 12 heavy working sets. 300 pounds for double after double after double for what seemed like forever. That's a lot of work under 300 pounds. My triceps were tired. And then we backed it off to one drop set, kind of, back off set, burnout set, whatever you want to call it, 210 pounds on the bar, 10 consecutive repetitions, and that fatigue set in, I barely got through that set, even though 210 for 10 doesn't seem like that big of a deal, because really, it's not, but I can assure you that it definitely was after all of those heavy working sets. Then we got some wide grip rows going, 140 pounds for 5 sets of 10, getting that back accessory work taken care of some lat press downs with a measly 55 pounds for sets of 15 kind of hard kind of not so hard in between middle ground not sure if i'm still a fan or not i do however wonder what some machines out there can do on the lat press down like is there anybody out there that can handle like the half stack or three quarter stack on this variation because I bet they're out there, and that's crazy to consider. But what's also crazy to consider is this lying tricep extension with the easy bar. 149 pounds on the bar, almost by one rep max, and I ran it for a smooth double. 134 pounds to back off for three more smooth doubles. I also did a burnout set, which is why my sleeves were splitting as I slur my words with this pump during some easy bar curls. That was a solid Tuesday session. First thing Thursday morning, and we've got volume deadlifts today, but we're going to be basing that volume off of doubles. So there's going to be a lot of moderately heavy weights being moved. So 442 and a half pounds didn't move as smoothly as I would have liked for four sets of two, but it did move smoothly. So we will consider that to have been a success, as were these step ups to the 18 inch box. Closing in on getting those 45s on each side of the SSB. Remember, the SSB is 70 pounds, so it takes a little bit more weight than 135 pounds to get to that big wheel on either sleeve. 160 pounds is required, to be exact. These were quite smooth as well, and then we finished off with some glute ham raises. 10 pounds, not really heavy, but working sets of 12 which although weren't really heavy were really difficult my glutes and hamstrings were on fire by the end of the set but my lower back was even more brutalized than either the glutes or the hamstrings so thursday was a good training session saturday session we got three plates on the floor press feels good to get three wheels on another pressing variation even though it might be a partial range of motion still difficult for the triceps and then we ran 283 and a half or four singles and then did a burnout set after that got some t-bar rows going here sets of 15 to 20 reps starting to get quite heavy though so running out of steam especially on the final few sets really feeling these in the lower back a lot of core required to maintain the proper position through the duration of all of the working sets some reverse hyper row face pulls keeping those rear delts popping and those shoulders healthy and then from there we went into some close grip bench for accessory work so sunday session i felt strong i felt good under the bar 405 pounds four wheels definitely a point where i start to lose confidence 12 working sets, 12 doubles with that much weight. That is the most times I've ever been under that much weight. Not only in a single training session, but 24 total reps with 405 might be more total times than I've ever moved 405, come to think of it, which is actually incredible. I'd have to double check my training history, but if it's not, it's close. So win, win, win there. Everything else was just icing on the cake as they say some bell squat pull throughs and some high rep dimbel deadlifts and that was a wrap certainly a successful week and i feel strong